Hey everyone and welcome back. Sophia and I are here for what would be the last art lesson of the school year. So I thought it'd be fun to have my little art assistant here with me today. So what I thought that we could do to keep things fun and creative and open-ended, you guys are all probably pretty tired of doing your schoolwork. So how could we, how could we have fun today? All right, that's what I was thinking. So one thing that I thought that we could do would be to do a little recap of some of the art lessons that I did in the school year. And you might already be thinking of some of the ones that we did or that you enjoyed or had fun with. Sophia looks like she's getting a little sleepy, but that's okay. She's my art assistant. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna talk about some of the art lessons that I did in the school year, but I thought it'd be fun to do it like this. Aha! So I thought maybe it'd be fun to do a little reenactment of some of the lessons that I did throughout the year. You all might be wondering what's on my sweatshirt. Why am I wearing this hat? Why was Sophia holding an apple up in front of my face? Well, you all may have remembered at the beginning of the year, we talked about an That's... artist by the name of Rene Magritte. And he was a surrealism painter. And Rene Magritte was known for a painting called The Son of Man, where I thought it'd be fun to do this. There was an apple right in front of his face in the painting. It came out in the late 50s, and it made it very mysterious that he had an apple right in front of his face. All right, so we talked about Rene Magritte and surrealism. And speaking of apples, remember we talked about at the beginning of the year how to shade an apple and draw an apple. We did it with oil pastel. Remember that? So here's an apple to represent that project, also to tie in with Rene Magritte. We did a winter trees project. Um, here winter. was my example for that. Yep, we talked about project. a winter project. We talked about how if you use oil pastel with watercolor, it'll resist and it'll leave those marks for our snowflakes. We talked about what a silhouette was and how shadows fall, right? Depending on where the light is. What's on the other sock? The Scream, right? By Edvard Munch. We did it around Halloween time. It's kind of a spooky painting, right? So I like to do that around Halloween. Yeah. What else did we talk about? We um, talked about Frida Kahlo. We did a self-portrait in the style of Frida Kahlo, if you remember that. We talked about how she incorporated this beautiful flowers and wildlife and Mexican culture, right, in her self-portraits. We talked about this crazy, very interesting man, Salvador Dali, right? And he was also the surrealism painter known for the nice. dripping clocks. And here he has one of a dripping egg. So anyway, his dreamscapes, we call them, all right? Who else did we talk about? Oh, we talked about pointillism. Remember that? We talked about illuminated manuscript a little bit. And the lesson was to take a story and um, illuminate it around- The friendly giant. The friendly giant and illuminate it around one letter, Jack and the Beanstalk. Remember we talked about Andy Goldsworthy? Like a dot. Right? And some of the nature, nature installations world. that he does. Okay. And we talked about, which we're gonna talk about right now, Keith Haring. So this is a graphic done by Keith Haring. Actually, Ellen gave me this sweatshirt. Thank you so much, What's Ellen. This? And this is my example that we did for Keith Haring. Yep. So this was the example. We did a project on tin foil with very bright colored Sharpies. Keith Haring always used bright colors. You can see it in this example that he did. I love this one. Of two people holding a heart up. He said he liked to use red in all of his paintings because it was so powerful. Oh, and I have two more to show. Remember we talked about Roy Lichtenstein and he was a pop artist 
around before Keith Haring, but also out of New York City. Both Keith Haring and Roy Lichtenstein love New York. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do for our lesson today, all right? Now, again, I wanna try to keep it easy and fun and simple and open, and I, I know you all are tired and looking forward to your summer, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take two lessons that I did, whatever one you want, whatever lessons you would like, and you're going to combine them, okay? And however you wanna do that is totally fine. Now, keep in mind, if you were to do Keith Haring, you would like to know that it's inspired from a Keith Haring piece of artwork, or that it's inspired from Keith Haring himself, right? So if I were to do that, you would do these figures, right? You would probably do movement lines. We talked about how Keith Haring he moved from a small town in Pennsylvania to a big, energetic city like New York, and he was blown away by all of the dancing yeah. and the movement, right? And how it's called the city that never sleeps, all right? So I would put those things in it so that I would know that it's inspired by Keith Haring, okay? And then say you were inspired by the pointillism or stippling project that we did where we made images out of only using dots. Wanna hold this, Sophia? All right, Sophia's adding a little audio here for you all. Okay, so I really had fun with the stippling project that I chose to do for you all. And I have been feeling a little anxious lately and it's been really good to just stipple away and it's very relaxing. So what I did, and I really like that Keith Haring project that we did at the beginning of the school year, and I know that a lot of you all did too. So what I thought would be fun to do, and to show that I had so much fun with each and every one of you this entire school year, is I did a stippling Keith Haring project. And it's made up only using dots. So I want to say thank you so much for an amazing school year. This is my little way of saying thank you and that I love you all. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay creative. Okay, thank you all so much. Thank you. Bye, Bye. everybody. Have an amazing summer. I hope you have your art project all done.